Hello friends of Sally Antiques. We will start a new series. Today is called the Gun Couch. <laughs> and uh, today I have uh, my first two friends uh, on the couch with me in this nice case. And the friends are, well, a pair of MP5 submachine guns. Right. Uh, obviously we these are decommissioned and Pretty much everything in this series will be about decommissioned firearms um, and I'll show you what this set uh, comes with, uh, what to expect, how the deactivation is done and uh, uh, so on and so forth. So, uh, so far uh, in this set obviously we have a pair of MP5s, uh, consecutive uh, serial numbers uh, with their cool magazines. We have the double stack. <coughs> the guns have a moving bolt and you can actually secure it and obviously the the trigger uh, um, can be pressed you the safety actually works you can see how it goes and also you can um, uh, pull the buttstock on if you need the very interesting thing is that obviously you can strip this down and i'll show you exactly how this is done but before going further with the stripping i'll uh, show you other bits that you have in the box and one is actually the uh, spare uh, uh, front uh, grip with the uh, flashlight in it and obviously you have the really really cool sling that is attached here yeah so you can actually carry the machine gun if you're doing reenactment or if you kind of play call of duty or any sort of a modern shooter you've seen one of these you're probably using it in your game so this is a really cool thing to have on uh, your collection or on your wall and uh, uh, obviously we have some light filters for our uh, red dot sides and if you want to actually use the sides you can put batteries in it and uh, use them uh, i'll show you in a um, uh, few moves how you actually strip this down uh, obviously there is a particular level of stripping that can be done um, because they are decommissioned to the modern standards but there's still quite a lot that you can do with this so let's have a look and see how you strip these so I move to the other side of the couch to get a bit more light and uh, well the first thing that you have to take out obviously uh, are the magazines so <laughs> to actually you can take these magazines out from their case like this uh, and we'll, I'll just put them back and put them aside so right and now the first element that you can take out obviously is the top so you push the bolt out this is not a captive bolt you can actually pull it out and then it's literally a very simple operation and now you have the barrel here so what they've done to the barrel they actually cut it there and uh, they've welded it in place so you can't actually unscrew it um, you can also take this this pin out but you uh, you need to struggle a bit I won't do it now because it's quite a, a bit of work to get it done um, after that the the next step is obviously to you can take out the the sight and this is quite simple you just pull this lever down oops and here we go yeah that's your red dot side which I'll just put it here this makes it easier now you have the machine gun um, close with without any fittings and so the next movement that you can do next next thing that you can do you can actually push this bolt in and you pull it out on the other side again this is not a captive bolt and the entire back assembly comes off like this and this comes off like that and uh, you can partially extract uh, the spring and uh, uh, the top of the uh, the rod of the cylinder and th this is pretty much all you can do with this with this DX, which is still quite nice obviously uh, this now moves freely because it's not under the spring pressure this is captive so you can't you can't get it out um, but it's not it's not that bad it's actually quite quite all right and uh, it's, it's not uh, bad for 
the current deactivation standards. Right, so you push this back, then we can obviously put this back as it was. And put the bolts back and all that kind of thing. I won't do it now because I don't want to, to um, um, be boring. But basically, yeah, this is this is what you get. It is quite interesting. Uh, you can also unscrew the side. So quite a lot that you can do to this. And uh, I think it's a very good uh, value for uh, what it is. And it looks very cool. You can have it on the wall. You can do reenactment with it. Uh, you can show it to your mates uh, because it's one of the guns that obviously used in video games and this is the real deal. Uh, it's not the kind of airsoft copy or BB copy of things. No, this is the real deal. And these are were guns that were issued to the police. And um, yeah, if you want to um, get them, you can go on our website, sallyantics.co.uk. Um, or uh, if you just like the video or you want to leave a comment, please interact with us. Uh, Click the like button, uh, give us a share and also you can subscribe to our channel and see uh, other weapons in this uh, series. So see you next time.